Um, now we're going to go to the second round, and it's a five-minute round. And we begin with Rachel Thomas again for the Conservatives. Five minutes, please, Mrs. Thomas. Thank you. Um, Minister, I, I noticed that you answer my questions in French, but other English questions you answer in English if they're from your Liberal colleagues. Um, I realize it's completely your choice. We're a bilingual country. Um, but if at all possible, I would, I'd love to have an Rappel au règlement, Madame la Présidente. Yeah. Rappel au règlement, Madame la Présidente. Stop shouting. There are at least five people shouting for a point of order. And I, Claude, did you see who was the first one? Okay, I think it was Martin. Go ahead, Martin. Madame la Présidente, je n'ai pas besoin de vous rappeler et de rappeler à ma collègue que euh, nos, nos invités, comme les membres de ce comité, peuvent s'exprimer dans la langue officielle de leur choix. Nous avons un service d'interprétation extrêmement efficace. J'ai l'occasion de, de, de le vivre régulièrement. Alors, je pense que la ministre a tout à fait le droit de répondre dans la langue de son choix. Euh, C'est insultant pour les Québécois présentement, ce que j'entendais pour les francophones. Merci. Yes. Sorry, um, I think Lisa was before you, Peter. J'avais le même appel de, à, à règlement. Je ne pense pas qu'on peut okay. lui demander de parler dans un langue ou l'autre. Peter? Euh, Madame la Présidente, je viens, de poser, je viens sur le même point, euh, rappel au règlement. De, je viens de poser deux questions en anglais. Et le ministre a le droit de répondre dans la langue de son choix. Et, euh, et pour quelqu'un de mettre en question le... le le bilinguisme au pays est, est, est offensant, je pense, de tout le monde. Et j'espère bien que ce député-là va commencer à respecter les langues officielles et respecter ses comités. Thank you. Those are valid points of order. Yes, Mrs. Thomas. Continue. I think, no, I'm on the same point of order. Are you on the same point of order? Okay. We paused. Thank you. Um, my observation was that... Um, the Liberal member was afforded the opportunity to be answered in English, and I was not afforded that same opportunity. I recognize that we're a bilingual country, and by all means, you can answer in either language. I'm just curious if you would be willing to answer in English. Point of order, oh, Madam oh Chair. Madam yeah. Chair. No, point of order. Sorry, I, I have to go back to the original point in the point of order, and that is that the person speaking should make should choose what language they wish to speak in and if the minister chooses french fine if she chooses english fine we cannot make her answer in whatever okay good minister continue you want to ask a question yes michel um michael i i think that the fact that the conservative party has demanded that uh, a member uh, speak only in english uh to me is uh it goes against everything this country has been built on. Um, you know, when we come into this, this chamber, um, we have two official languages that, you know, everyone's afforded. And the fact that the Conservative Party is demanding that um, a member only use one language to me is just uh, unacceptable. And it, it needs to be noted that, you know, that that should never happen uh, at committee. It should never happen, uh, you know, in uh, the House of Commons. And it's... Uh, it's just something that goes against our very values as, uh, as Canadians. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Kodo. I think I, I highlighted <coughs> that when I responded earlier on, that it is a valid point of order, and the minister can answer in whatever language she chooses. Mr. New Marvin, uh, is this something new, or are we it going is, over it the is, It is thing? something new on, on related matter. It is one thing, um, as Mr. Kodo has pointed out, which I think is reprehensible for anyone to demand or suggest that one language be used. Are you already clipping your demand? That's great. Can I, if I might finish what I was going to say? Debate. Please continue, Mr. Newmarket. What I find particularly reprehensible is the question as to why somebody has chosen to use a particular language. It's one thing to make the demand. It's another thing to ask the question why a minister chose to, to use a particular language. I mean, I think that this, this speaks to something very dangerous and very irresponsible on the part of the Conservatives. And I, um, I think it would be valuable and important for Ms. Thomas to retract that question or to retract that assertion, um, because I think it is in the interest of all of us in this room that we not have to play silly games around the use of our official languages. All right, to get back to the Peter. Um, Madam Chair, uh, just for Mrs. Thomas's education, uh, having been brought up in an English environment and having learned French in school, 
there are numerous times when you have a vocabulary in one particular language uh, that allows you to speak more easily in that language. And that is the principle of official bilingualism. For the Conservatives to put in question official bilingualism is absolutely reprehensible. And uh, I, I just can't believe how radical and extreme this party has become since the member from Carleton took over. Uh, thank you. Um, I am going to now suggest that I do not want to entertain any further points of order on this issue. I have ruled as a chair that the, that the member, Mrs. Thomas, has a question, the floor. She could question the minister, and the minister can answer in whatever language she chooses. So let's not be carry, with, carry on with this for too much longer. Thank you. Mrs. Thomas, your questions, please. 